Hey guys, it's good to be back with you. We got an update for you. It is crazy. The region is being told to brace for increased tropical cyclones mean more storms, hurricanes, severe weather activity, and more heat up till March 2025. We got the information for you. We got diagrams. We're going to break down that information for you. So you want to stick around. But remember, you got to share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, or you will miss when we upload videos like these. Don't just share. You have to hit the notification bell. All right? But let's get into this story first, and then we're going to break down the diagrams for you. Stick around. All right? The Barbados-based Caribbean Climate Outlook Forum, Karakoff, is warning Caribbean countries to be prepared for increased tropical cyclones and severe weather activity over the next three months. October, November, December. It is going to be crazy again. Also, the heat factor. It is going all the way up until March 2025. So even in the cool month of December, where we usually say, well, it's Christmas time, it's going to be cool. Mm -mm. If you're already burning your electricity over AC and fan, you got more to do in the coming months. So brace for this and share this information. October to December 2024, a transition to La Nina may occur in the Equatorial Pacific, while near record warm tropical, increased tropical cyclone and severe weather activity through December. It's going to result in potential for flooding, uh, flash floods, cascading hazards, and associated impacts. Unusual oceanic heat further implies episodes of oppressive humid heat could continue into early November. So we're looking at a lot of heat, particularly in the ABC Islands, which is uh, Aruba, Bonaire, Curacao, the Guianas, that's down in South America, and the Windward Islands. So if you're living in the Windward Islands, that's it. Finally, the Guianas will transition from the hot and dry season into cooler and much wetter conditions from late November, except in the far southwest. Let's look at the night and daytime temperatures up to December because I think this is going to interest you more than anything else right now. Night and daytime temperatures up to December. And again, these are shaded areas above normal. You see like the dark brown or kind of reddish brown, you could call that. And then on the opposite end, it's below normal in the blue. All right. If you look at all this map right now, night and day. You're seeing the minimum temperature and you're seeing the maximum temperature. If you look on the left, the minimum temperature for these islands is still in the above normal range from Trinidad all the way up. And way to the extreme is the ABC islands over there. Now, if you look on the opposite side for the maximum temperature, you'll see it's way in the extreme for Trinidad, the Windward Islands all the way up to Guadeloupe. And then you see it's a bit below the normal side there. So let's take a look at what they're saying. Nighttime min, daytime max temperatures, as well as air humidity, will likely be considerably higher than usual in most areas. Frequent episodes of heat stress are expected. The region is likely to continue through October in this record-breaking heat season. Heat stress may further ramp up where dry spells are more frequent than usual. So there is more heat on the way for all of the islands in the Caribbean here. And you want to know that drought conditions, well, as of the 1st of September, 2024, there are severe worst drought or short-term drought has developed in Trinidad, severe drought in parts of the Guianas, the short-term drought at the end of December, 2024, short-term drought may possibly continue in Suriname, and long-term drought at the end of November, 2024, long-term drought is evolving in Southwest Belize, French Guiana, Trinidad and Tobago, and might possibly develop or continue at the end of November 2024 in coastal Guiana, USVI, St. Vincent, and Tobago. So drought conditions could develop in these regions at the end of November. So look out for that. All right. Let's look at a brief climate outlook from January to March 2025. This is crazy. This period marks the progression of the Caribbean dry season to its usual peak by March and the cool season. An unreasonably warm tropical North Atlantic, potentially combined with La Nina conditions, is forecast for this period. More comfortable temperatures, though likely higher, and with more humidity than usual, are forecast for the cool season, January to March. So look out for that next year. You're going to be burning more electricity because you're going to get more humidity and higher temperatures. 
The risk of severe weather impacts from intense shower activity, including floods, flash floods, and cascading impacts should decrease from moderate in early January to marginal in early March in Belize and the islands. An intense dry season is forecast for the Bahamas, the Cayman Islands, and Cuba, potentially leading to short-term drought. By contrast, usually copious rainfall is forecast for ABC Islands, Guianas, and the Lesser Antilles. So let's deal with what's next, the rainfall patterns, October, November, December. All right? For Belize, October to December, you're going to get a wet season, frequent heavy showers. Caribbean islands north of 16, which will be like around maybe uh, Martinique, Dominica, Guadeloupe. It's going to be October wet season, frequent heavy showers, November to December, transition to dry season, decrease in shower frequency and intensity. So November to December, October, it's going to be a wet season for you. You're going to have frequent heavy showers, all right? But in November to December, it's going to transition to dry season decreasing shower frequency and intensity so in december when you think it's going to be like really cool you're going to transition to dry season and the heat is going to be going up caribbean islands south of 16 so we're coming down except aruba bonaire and curacao october to november you're going to have some frequent heavy showers however in december you're going to transition to dry season decreasing shower frequency and intensity so the heat is going to be on this is a lot of information for you. All you got to know, even in the cool months of January to March 2025, you're going to be getting some comfortable temperatures, but it's going to be higher with more humidity than usual in this period of time. It means that you're going to be burning more electricity to cool down. The heat is going to be on still all the way down until December. It's just going to be terrible. So remember, to share this information, subscribe to the channel because you know we give you really great information. Like I said, people may not read an article, but they will watch a video. So share this information around on all your social media platforms. And take it easy. And remember to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you will get more videos. Because we're going to do a second one to this. We've got some more information which we think you need to know. All right? So guys, take it easy. And we'll talk to you again.